Hello Chia fans, I've been waiting for over two months for this drive to ship and today it finally arrived. The Seagate Exos M 30TB drive has lasers on its friggin heads. Yep, lasers, because the platters are so dense it needs to heat up the surface in order to flip the bit for writes. Reads work without the laser, uh, but I obviously don't need a 30TB hard drive when I can get cheap refurbished 18TB drives. But when platter density gets so crazy they need a laser to heat up the area the head is running to, it converts it from a want to a need. So now I need this drive. And now I finally have it. Here it is, the Exos M 30 terabyte drive. All right, calm your tits before we get too crazy here. We gotta check, make sure it's got the latest firmware. Looks like that's good. And look at this, oh my goodness, this baby drive's got zero power on hours. I always get refurbs. I guess they reset the power hours on the refurbs, but this is legitimately a brand new drive. So this is a big deal for me because I don't get new drives. I always get the refurbs. Data manufacturer, week 12, 2025. That's exciting. Look at that, 30 friggin' terabytes. Largest drive I've ever owned, that's for sure. So it looks like I don't get to do a firmware update. I can't lie, I'm a little disappointed about that. I really do like doing firmware updates on drives, but on to the next thing. All right, time to initialize this bad boy. We'll do a GPT, time to format. I'm gonna format NTFS. I've used REFS in the past, not uh, mixed results, we'll say, with REFS. So I'll stick with NTFS. Keep the allocation unit size maxed out at two meg. Uh, make my volume label. The LBA is just so I know I've got the two meg allocation unit size. It helps me remember stuff. The only reason I'm doing that is because I have huge files. I'm not going to be small ones, so I might as well keep the allocation unit uh, maxed out at two megs. All right, here we are on the plotter. As I said, I'm making plots over here for the C6 that are going to go on that 30 terabyte drive. And then I just got some no SSD with extra drives just for fun because I got an extra GPU, so why not? Uh, what we'll do first is there's that 30 terabyte uh, initialized in here, disk zero. Look at all that beautiful size. I have a ton of plots that I've been making in preparation for this. So we're going to throw those onto that drive, the ones that I got now. Just move them on over to the Z drive. Let's see how fast this thing goes. Oh my goodness. Lasers are happening right now. It's starting to ramp up. Let's check the task manager here too. Remember, there are lasers heating up the surface of this drive right now. It's actually happening while this is going on. Did the lasers on the freaking heads... They're doing their thing. It's at 90%. It's about average. I think most of my... Oh, that's a little bit faster. Most of my Exos drives that I have, the 18 terabytes, had around 250 something. This looks like it might peak around... Now oh, it's settling down. 280 is still pretty fast. I'd say 280 is a lot. 290, wow. It's definitely not faster than the 18 terabytes I have. I'm not, I'm not going to credit the lasers, but part of me wants to credit the lasers. It's probably just because it's a newer drive with a newer platform on it, but uh, it may actually hit 300 here, so... I will come back to this and I'll let you know what the speed was, but now it's time to see the final mounting place of this beautiful drive once we get all these drives copied on here, or our plots rather. And here we have the final resting place of the hard drive with friggin' lasers on its heads. It's joining the CNI compressed uh, Bladebit C5 Farmer over here. It's got about a petabyte of space. And then uh, you can see it goes a little, little left here too, pretty big farm. On the right, we got the Gigahorse C7 farm. This is also about a petabyte, so I got the two farms running, different compression levels. The uh, hard drive with friggin' lasers on its head that has a special place with a special background. That's where it's always gonna live. Um, and then I think uh, it's still profitable. Chi is around uh, 1172 right now. Long as it stays above six, I'll keep this farm running. Anything below six, the electricity, I'm not making as much money as I should, so. I'll keep this thing running until then, and if I, even if I shut it down, I'm still going to have that beautiful background with that beautiful laser hard drive. And if you want to keep track of this wonderful laser drive, it's on the status page. It's linked in the description on this video. Scroll down to when you see the danger laser icon, which is a pretty good giveaway that it's not one of the 18 terabyte drives that I have. This holds 341 plots versus the 205 that I got out of the 18 terabytes. You can watch the load cycles and the uh, power on hours go up as the drive gets less and less valuable. Uh, but for now, it's full up and uh, reading. Again, the reads don't use the laser, but I will be replotting in about three months, so plan on using a laser again when that happens.